All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I wanna to go over an error you might see in your Google Ads account, and that's your ad is not showing due to a low ad rank. So to look at the specific error, I have opened my Farmhouse Goal search campaign. I get it sometimes in my own campaign, so don't worry if you get it. Um, but when you go to your keyword section, so you open your search campaign, you click on the keywords tab to the left, uh, over here is status. It's a column with whether or not your ad is showing. So right now we're showing eligible here. You might see other statuses, but one thing you might see is if you scroll your mouse over, it might say an ad isn't showing right now. One of the errors might say, this candidate is not triggering ads to appear on Google right now due to a low ad rank. Ads are ranked based on your bid and your quality score. So I wanna do a separate video about ad rank to kind of explain it a little bit better, but just one quick thing with, if your ad isn't appearing for ad rank, so it's based on two different factors. One is the bid that you're putting out for that keyword, and the other one is based on your quality score. So Google creates ad rank to basically be able to rank every single advertisement that's eligible for an auction when someone searches a certain keyword. So when you go to Google and you do a search and you see some of the advertisements at the top here, they're all ranked there because of their ad rank. So it's based on a factor of their bid and their quality score. So if we come back over to Google ads here, if you're getting these issues pretty often, there's a few different things that you can do. First off, and the easiest way to do it is to increase your bid. So you might be using an automated bidding strategy. I am using that for this campaign. Now, if you're using a manual CPC bidding strategy, and let's just say, for example, you're bidding $1 on a keyword, you might just have to increase your bid. So just try increasing your bids if your ads aren't showing. But before you do that, what I want to make sure you do is look at your quality score. So when you open the keywords tab here and you click on columns over here, click on modify columns. Right here under quality score, you can see they have a bunch of different things that you can add to your columns. So quality score, historical quality score, expected click-through rate, landing page experience, and ad relevance. And they also have the historical value for all of those. So add them all to your columns, click on apply. And now you're open in your keywords tab, you have all of those columns open. What you wanna do is scroll over and you can look at the quality score for each individual keyword. So I don't have the best quality scores for all these keywords right now. You generally wanna be seven or 10 out of, or above. You really wanna be nine out of 10 or 10 out of 10. So the things that go into your quality score is expected click-through rate. So it's ex your expected click-through rate versus your competitors for the same exact keywords. So that's basically all they're measuring. So if other competitors, so right here you can see for farmhouse shelves, I'm gonna use the example of farmhouse shelves for this video. My other competitors, if my expected click-through rate is about 2.9, 2.65%, my competitors are probably in 3% or above if they're above average. So right now it's just average. So what I would have to do is increase that click-through rate to get my expected click-through rate to above average. Now landing page experience. If you're seeing average or below average, for pretty much every keyword that you're targeting, then it has a lot to do with your website. Your website just isn't giving a good landing page experience. So basically that's, Google is going to go to your landing page, they're gonna look at the keywords on your landing page, they're gonna look at page loading times, really the ease of use for all of your landing pages, and you're gonna be measured against your competitors. So one thing you can do is look at competitor landing pages, see some of the things that they're doing, um, if competitors have a very user-friendly landing page, then they're probably gonna have an above average landing page experience. And when you think about quality score, you have to remember you're always being measured against your competitors. So last but not least is gonna be ad relevance. So if we look at farmhouse shelves again, you can see our ad relevance is actually above average here. So that's why our quality score is seven out of 10. For things where you see average across the board, you see it's a six out of 10. Um, as you go down a little bit, sometimes you'll see something below average. Uh, so it's really some, a matter where you need to continue to outperform your competitors to increase your quality score. A high quality score equals an, a high ad rank, and that means you can actually bid less for your keywords. So where a competitor might have to bid, we'll use a dollar again as our example, you might be able to bid 80 cents and still outrank your competitors because you have such a good quality score. And quality score is something that's built over time. So I've been running this campaign for just about a month now. So my quality score isn't gonna be the greatest. So as you run your campaigns a little bit longer, you continue to optimize your campaigns. You create new advertisements, you add negative keywords, uh, you focus on different things with landing pages. You Maybe you test different landing pages. All of those things can really help you improve your campaign. 
So with farmhouse shelves, you can see here my ad relevance is pretty good. Uh, but one thing you might want to do is we're going to open farmhouse shelves here. We're going to go to ads and extensions. Just make sure you're running multiple different advertisements for your keywords. So we have a couple responsive search ads here and a couple expanded text ads that we're running. Uh, most of it's going into this one advertisement. So one thing we can do is pause it, but our ad relevance isn't really the problem. The other thing you can do is click on ad extensions and make sure you're adding ad group level ad extensions. So you can see here we have four site links for uh, shelves. So we have floating shelves, farmhouse wall shelves. We have four different call out extensions, just some different types. We have a structured snippet extension to show different farmhouse shelf styles. So just some different things that you can do to really improve on your quality score. Now, if we come back over to ads here, uh, what we can do is I'm going to open a couple of the different landing pages I'm running. So what I've actually done is I've taken two different advertisements. I've gone here, I've gone to copy and edit kept the same advertisement so the expanded text ads are exactly the same the responsive search ads are exactly the same and i'm actually running two separate landing pages on my website so you might not be able to do this um, but it's something that you can definitely test to optimize your campaigns so i want to go a little bit more into campaign optimization in the coming months uh, but what you can see here is we have one page here farmhouse shelves and rustic shelves people scroll down there's a bunch of farmhouse shelves for sale now if we come back to the top and we go to farmhouse shelves. This is actually our shop page. So there's some categories up at the top here. And then as you scroll down, some different products related to farmhouse shelves. So there's different things you can do. So that's hopefully going to improve my landing page experience. Um, and Google's going to continue to serve the advertisements that drive me the best results over time. So that's just some different things you can do to improve quality score. Now, when it comes to expected click through rate, I actually have a pretty strong click through rate for farmhouse shelves. I mean, so. Being at 2.9%, 2.65%, this is pretty good, but it might just not be good enough for right now. So one of the things you can do is try to add negative keywords. So we'll look at some of the search terms here that are triggering our ads. And so for the most part, they look pretty good. But what I generally do is I'll come down here and just look at some different things that people are typing in. Um, so farmhouse style hanging shelves. So here's one that where would it wouldn't be relevant for me. Farm in NH, which I'm assume, assuming is New Hampshire, that makes wooden shelves so that's not really something that's too relevant for the products that are on my website farmhouse microwave shelf i actually don't know if i have microwave shelves on the website lowe's so you can get rid of some different competitor names because if someone's looking specifically for lowe's um, farmhouse style shelf liner um, so just some different things where you can exclude keywords that aren't going to be relevant for your business so here's one for big lots large farmhouse shelf vertical farmhouse shelf so i don't know if i have any vertical farmhouse shelves and here's someone looking for something specific it looks like farmhouse shelf brown wallpaper border so some different ideas for negative keywords that i can put in this isn't really going to improve my campaign too much to be honest um, but you can see overall if you start getting rid of some of these different keywords that people are typing in you can make sure your search terms are really relevant which is going to help your click-through rate over time so if you have any questions about this, um, the main thing is just look at your search keywords. You can scroll over eligible here. Um, it's saying here, my candidate, this candidate is not triggering ads due to a low ad rank. So it might just be that my bid's not high enough. So the last thing you can do is go to settings. So it's gonna say your bidding strategy. So right now it's showing maximize conversions. I actually just added a new bid strategy to this campaign, but it's still learning. So it might not be applied completely yet. But what I like to do is go to tools, under shared library going to bid strategies so it's going to open this page here portfolio bid strategies so i created a bid strategy target return on ad spent for farmhouse goal search so if i click on it my strategy target return on ad spend right now is 67 percent. so i'm hoping to improve that over time so we come down to settings here you can see target return on ad spend 67 percent under advanced options you might want to increase your maximum bid limit a little bit so i just did this increased it to 250 if you're still getting the issues, maybe I want to go up to $3 for maximum bid limit. So you just want to make sure your bids aren't limiting your campaign. And obviously it's difficult because you want to drive the best possible results at the lowest possible cost, but you might have to increase your maximum bid limit if your competitors are bidding much higher than you. Um, and then as you improve that quality score, you should be able to decrease your maximum bid limits and increase your target return on ad spend or improve your target CPA. So just some different ideas for trying to fix this error where your ads aren't showing due to a low ad rank. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching our video today and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.